I'm Desiree. And I'm Jordan. We just bought our dream blue water sailboat called Atticus 2, and we're working hard to transform her from a weekend cruiser into a long distance offshore voyager. Since buying the boat, we've been in Branford, Connecticut, tackling some urgent projects that need to get done before we can set sail for Maine to kick off our first adventure on Atticus 2. Welcome to Sailing Project Atticus. We did a thing. We did something crazy. We did something that is probably really crazy. We got a little puppy. <laughs> yes, we did. Look at his face. The little dude. Yeah. I love you already, and you don't even know me, but I'm going to give you so much love. <laughs> so, I can't believe we have a puppy, buddy. Yeah. Look so, how cute he is. He's very cute. This is oh. Captain Oso. Yeah. And he's a Cairn Doodle. So he is half Cairn Terrier and half miniature poodle. And he's so sweet and I love him already and I hope he likes the boat and I can't believe we got a dog. <laughs> I know. Suffice to say we've been thinking about getting a dog for years. We finally kind of felt like we had the space with Atticus too. We just kind of decided that if we were going to do it now is the time so we did it. We did it. Right little dude? Welcome to the boat little man. Ooh here we are. There you go. This is this is Atticus too. This is where you live. Yeah, this is your home. What do you think? What do you think? Huh? Yeah? You like the boat? Yeah. Your boat size, that's for sure. Yeah. Dude, oh so you are the cutest dog on the planet. So you happy, buddy? Yeah. I can't believe we have a dog. Yeah. <laughs> Feels so surreal. Cutie. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good dog. Okay, well, night one was a little bit rough with the little guy. He was whimpering a lot. He was just losing it. So, Jordan. Jordan went out there to sleep with him and make him feel more comfortable. Hi, Oso. How's the baby? What? Come here. Come here, come here. Oh, there you go. Who's that? Huh. Who's that? Is that a good Jordan? He was worried about you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Last night, he, I would call that like full blown like, panic attack. Panic attack, you know? Yeah. Like really desperate, like intense, loud barking. My plan now is I'm just going to sleep out here and do that for like maybe two nights, mm -hmm. you know, maybe three. Mm -hmm. So that he knows like he's protected, you know. Yes, he looks like he knows. <laughs> he knows, doesn't he? You remember how many times I've said on Atticus, like, I want a puppy right here. Yeah. I just want to... And now we have one. Yeah. And we have a home that's better for a little puppy mm -hmm. yeah that's half the reason i wanted to get him was i knew like how much you just wanted a dog generally you yeah. know i didn't want our lifestyle to be that much of a compromise for us you know yeah and and so we got you yeah. so we got I'm you i'm so happy <laughs> thank you good buddy you you're welcome jordan made it happen <laughs> Because we were looking at you, and I thought he was joking, and he said, let's get him. And yeah. I said, really? <laughs> we're going to buy a dog. <laughs> really? Today? Now? He was like, yeah, let's take this little dude home. And I didn't want to because I was scared. But I'm glad we did. Good I'm so man. glad. I'm so glad. I just love I just love him so much. <laughs> yeah, I <Everybody>. do. <laughs> Come. 
Good boy, yes. Hey, hey little dude. Hey little dude. Is that fun? Was that fun? I know there's definitely a lot of reasons not to have a dog on a cruising sailboat. There's also a lot of reasons not to have kids on a cruising sailboat. Like there's a lot of reasons not to do a lot of things that I think could bring a lot of like meaning and positivity to your life. And so it's gonna have a lot of drawbacks and a lot of downsides but it's gonna be worth it. Because really, convincing Desiree to like live this lifestyle, I feel like not having a dog was one of the major drawbacks, and so. Yeah, good boy. In a way, it made me like really appreciate a, like any dog in any town, any marina, I would just be there. Yeah. <laughs> and like just spend a lot of time with other dogs, so it's kind of crazy to finally have our own little dude. Yeah. Good boy, got it. Yes, what a good little buddy. Oh, yes. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Come here. Oh, you're so good. You're so good. Yes, you are. Gosh, I love this space because at night we can kind of like play and romp around and he's not going to go anywhere. Then during the day, it's nice to be able to turn this into like a work spot. Knock on wood, this spot has worked out really well. So he's kind of close to me and he can go out whenever he wants. We're in the process of crate training him just because we want to be able to throw him in there if like shit's hitting the fan when we're sailing or who knows what. And so having this be the only way that he could be right next to me has been working out pretty well. And man, bud, I love this dinette. It yeah. is just amazing for, for having a little dude. And I imagine for having kids, you know, just section this part off. It's all padded. Nothing really bad can go down in here. So I'm cooking breakfast and the little dude is whining because he wants some attention. So far he keeps on just <laughs> popping his cute little head up, just like that. Okay, breakfast time. You can come down, but I have to close all the doors, okay? Such a mess in there. It's funny because you'd think that it's harder to have a puppy on a boat, but I kind of like how the layout of the boat is easy to section off. It's kind of small, so you can't really like get into too much mischief. And it really likes it back there. Yeah, I love it, actually. <laughs> like when I'm editing, it just wraps around my feet. <laughs> Patience is appreciated. Please stay on the line for the next available representative. Is it time to play? I guess I could take a break. I've been on hold for a little while. <laughs> time to play! Time to play! Okay, bring it in. Okay, bring it in. Okay, bring it in. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, bring it in. Oh, you forgot the toy. You forgot it. You, yes, you did. You forgot the toy. You knocked out now? Yeah. Time for a little nap. Dutch Wharf Marina and Paul, the owner, was so nice to let us squeeze in. I know it's a really busy boating season, but thank you so much for oh. having mercy on us. <laughs> no, you're more than welcome. How long has this yard been around and what's the story? Well, my dad started this yard in 1955. Okay. It was an old coal and lumber yard and he literally built it with his own two hands. We have a full service crew, seven of us here that have been in this industry for over 30 years each. Uh -huh. So it's a very experienced, passionate group of men. Yeah, we can really tell. Again, thank you so much for having us. We oh, love it here. <laughs> this, is, this is great. Basically our situation was the marina where we bought the boat, they were filling up for the summer and they really didn't have space for us. Meanwhile, we're calling all of the marina boat yards around Connecticut, even up to Massachusetts and Rhode Island and Maine and everything 
everything has been totally full. So these guys here didn't actually have any space for us technically, but they had a transient slip that they've been willing to let us stay for a month. So this will give us time to finish some last boat projects and also figure out where the heck we're going to next. Well, today's a big day. We're getting ready to remove the old name of the boat and we're gonna put on the new name, Atticus 2. To do it though, we're gonna have to flip the boat around so that we can have better access to the stern of the boat. So today's the first day we're going to practice backing up into the slip, which is gonna be interesting. But today's also the first day that Oso is gonna hear the boat engine. So I'm really curious to see how he's gonna do. Look at him, he's like a ball of fur, buddy. He's a sleeping pile of hair. Are you ready for a big loud noise little buddy? <laughs> He's still sleeping. He is totally passed out. All right bud, you ready to start her up? Ready, here we go. Okay, here we go. What the heck was that? It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. All right, well we're gonna stick him in the crate just to make sure he doesn't get into any mischief down here while we're moving the boat around. Oh yes. He's falling right back to sleep. Good boy. So when I did my first turn, you can see that it went pretty well, but I turned too late and I would have hit that dock on my port side. So I decided to give it another try. I figure I'll just try my turn a little earlier. So with this second attempt, I was actually really happy with how I lined up once we start going back. But we did this a little after slack tide. So there was an incoming current that was pushing us to port. So even though I started out lined up pretty good, we slowly drifted into the dock. Luckily, we weren't approaching the dock very quickly and Desiree and our super helpful neighbor, Neil, were able to fend us off of the dock. I think what I did today is like what I did the other day in that I didn't do a good job but I learned a lot. I thought I was turning too early both times, and both times I basically turned too late and not enough. I think I got the concept down, and I just need to work on the actual timing. Okay, how did he do? Hi, how's the little guy, huh? Oh, you slept right through that. You must have been tired. Oh, you are so good, Oso. You were the best boat dog. It's time to take this off so we can finally actually name this thing Atticus 2. So let's do it. Well, there you go. One down, 19 more to go. All right, well, I just about am done getting that name off. I just need to remove some of the adhesive that's still on the hull. I need to go get some adhesive remover, and so I'm gonna head over to Home Depot. I'm also gonna bring a little captain with me, because I want him to get used to hardware stores. You ready, buddy? You ready to go Home Depot? Yeah? <laughs> well, it must be hard to get through places. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got your new friend. Yeah. <laughs> Look. <laughs> so tiny. It just wants all the rub. Yeah. You made my day. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to go, otherwise <laughs> I won't be working. Yeah. He's getting lazy. Are you gonna supervise? Yeah? Yeah, you in charge of this project? I'll try to do a good job, okay? I'll try, I, I know, I know, I'm not gonna be slow. This. this is gonna save your life. Yes. 
Yeah, I think we need to get like extra, extra small. Oh, so. Yes, good boy. Sit. <laughs> yes! <laughs> he tried to sit and he just fell over. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, let go. Okay, go get it. Okay, baby. Yes, 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 you did it. I really want him to get used to kind of romping around on deck in his life vest. I'm just trying to associate this vest with something positive, and he loves peanut butter. Um, I think we might have to get a little bit of a smaller life vest for him. Hi, you want to pet our dog? <laughs> <laughs> you want to give him a treat? Ooh. Yes! Oh, yes. Do you want to do it again? Puppy. Yeah, we yeah, puppy likes. Puppy likes. <laughs> oh, look at that. Puppy really likes it. <laughs> We've been actually kind of looking for a baby or a toddler <laughs> that we can introduce Oso to. Um, Cause the idea behind Atticus too was to get our family boats. We want to start having kids soon. Another experience checked off the list. We're getting there, bud. Boat dog project. What do you think, Oso? You want a little baby in our family? Yeah? How's it going, buddy? <laughs> oh, boy, long day. All right, well, made it through another day. We got little Oso just totally zonked from playing on deck, got dinner cooking, and now it's time to turn my office back into Nuzzle Station. Buddy. Oh, how's it, buddy? Yeah. No one is going to make you sound like anyone else. Hey, little dude. <laughs> There's okay. something else. Go to sleep. Okay, come on. <laughs> it's like a zombie. Got it. You gotta go potty though. So I actually got Oso enrolled in a puppy class, um, but they need a fecal exam to um, clear him into the class. And so I've got an hour to get him to poop. <laughs> and then I've got to run to the vet so that they can uh, send it into the lab. So come on Oso, give me some poop. Potty, yes! Potty, yes! Okay, now for a little bit of poop action. Can you give me some poop? I'm gonna leave him alone for a couple of minutes, see if that makes the magic happen. Oh, so the rock star. Like the poop. You are going to the doctor. So, so far this little kind of potty fake lawn pad right here has been working really well. We have super lucked out. When we brought him home for the first time, he peed on the rug accidentally. So we just took that rug and put it up here and then hoped that he would pee on it again. And he did. He kept on peeing on it. And then we just took away the rug and now he's peeing on the patch of fake grass, which is amazing because if we're ever in another country where maybe he's not allowed off the boat um, or if we're at anchor and there isn't like a beach or land, we'll at least know he can do his business on board and be a happy little pup. All right, I got to get this poop to the lab. All right, so what happened, bud? We so, got a wet dog. We yeah. got a wet dog and a wet bud. Yeah. You guys are both wet. You're not allowed in here. <laughs> it was so funny. We we're like, we're gonna be good boat parents and we're gonna introduce him to the water in a very controlled environment, make it fun. And then Callie, oh, the boatyard dog, comes around. We were playing and I just wasn't looking for a second. <laughs> oh, so goes tumbling in. But then Desiree's freaking like crazy mom instincts jumped in and she literally <laughs> just jumped straight in the water. I was like, oh, the dog's in the water. And then Des was like, Poosh! And they were like, do you have your phone? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Next time, let's just try to grab them using our hands. Well, I wasn't thinking. I was not thinking. <laughs> we need to have like an actual baby so that this sort of behavior can be warranted, you know? Oh, God. <laughs> He's a little rat dog when he's wet. Yeah. 
I'm sorry to say, Oso, you are one ugly wet dog. Yeah, he is. <laughs> you clean up real nice when you're dry. You Don't really worry. do. <laughs> good boy, good boy. All right, well, it is a beach day for little Oso. We're trying to get him uh, accustomed to the water because our lifestyle is just constantly around uh, beaches and uh, nature. So we're gonna try to get him to the beach and make it as fun as we can for him so that when he's older, he'll just really love being out in nature like we do. Dig, get in here, go on, dig, dig, dig. Dude, he is in freaking dog heaven, buddy. Yeah. He's in terrier heaven. Yeah, he's loving it. He's just like, oh yeah. Yes, yeah, oh so, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's doing so good and it makes me so happy. Really glad that he's adapting to this kind of environment because our life on the boat is a lot of just like being outdoors near the water. So if he's happy, I'm happy. Oh, hi. Uh-huh. Hey, it's your other boy. I'm sorry. Desiree is very protective of Oso. <laughs> Don't know if you can tell. Come here, buddy. 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 Yeah. Oh. Yeah. His little heart is just yeah. like ball, ball. You did a good job. There you go, buddy. Your first of many swims. Hopefully, most of them will be warmer than that. <laughs> you ready? Come here, buddy. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Oh. Let go, let go. Good boy. I think the little guy is done. I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, so down. Hey guys, thanks so much for checking out this week's episode. If you haven't gotten enough of Captain Oso yet, uh, we wanted to invite you to check out his Facebook and Instagram pages, which we will link to in the description below. And it's just gonna be all Oso all the time, doing his cute little things, his naughty little things, his funny little things. And so if you're as obsessed with dogs as I am and you want to get more Osho time, and check it out. Also, we wanted to give a huge thank you to some of our newest patrons. You guys are amazing and you make this whole project 100% possible. And we are so grateful to your love, encouragement, and support. So without further ado, let's get to our thank yous. Jamie Guzman, Blair Freeman, Sandy Watkins, Tom Newhart, Stacia Carter McNess, Chris Turner, Walter Harrison, Robert Andrade, Tom Hamilton, Janet and John Nobis, Richard E. Hagen, Jeffrey Conklin, Ethan Stevenson, Jerry Brandt, Dale Taylor, Douglas McLean, and Sailing Muma. Thank you guys so much for all of your encouragement, love, and support. We love you, and we'll see you next week.